Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the flag of our country is before us. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for this morning's announcements. You gotta have heart, miles and miles and... Good morning, Hawks, and happy Friday. Welcome to Forte Friday, and today is May 29th. We have lots of birthdays to celebrate in Harworth today. Celebrating today is Addison Grimm in grade six, Madeline Lewis in grade two, and Rowan Ricci in grade eight. Two birthdays over the weekend for our seventh graders. On Saturday, Dylan Distelberger is celebrating, and Sunday, Leanne Speranza. Happy birthday to all. Now on to jokes and a couple of announcements. a reminder that June's Kids with Character theme or trait is teamwork. So parents, guardians, teachers, family members, you are encouraged to submit students' pictures and information regarding ways in which they have shown that they are part of a good team. They're flexible, they keep their team informed, they're ready to help, they're supportive, they always listen, and they're enthusiastic. Please get those submissions to me by June 5th. Another announcement I have for you this morning is for students in grades 5, 6, and 7. Mrs. Fennell is holding an interest meeting for our debate club for next year. Can you believe that we're already planning for next year? So if you're in grades 5, 6, or 7 and you're interested in the debate club, you might want to meet her on Tuesday at 1.30. It's a perfect club to work on your public speaking, debating with your peers, thinking about things analytically and writing about them, and researching current events. Again, she'll be holding a debate club interest meeting for next year on this Tuesday, June 2nd at 1.30. You can find the link in Parent Square as well as our enrichment calendar. Welcome to Forte Friday and the continuation of our Haworth Olympics. We have some training advice from our coach, Mr. Wolford. It is a quote that comes from Mr. Wolford himself. It's one that he's used to motivate athletes he has trained in the past. So, here it is, this week's Wolford's Wisdom. The secret ingredient in sports isn't size, speed, strength, or agility. It's effort. You are the only one who can control how much or how little you give. And you are the only one who will know the amount you gave. This quote tells us that it's always important to try your very best. So keep this quote in mind as you work out during these Haworth Olympics and in everything else you do. Have a great time training, Haworth athletes. See you next week. Time for our virtual high fives. Put your hands up. Jaden Solomon, Tico Tavari, and Emily Goldstein. High five. All right, I leave you today with a video submission from Mrs. Baggett, highlighting some of the great artwork from our students throughout our school. Enjoy your Forte Friday. Get out there and join those uh, Haworth Olympic Games and have a great weekend. And remember, Haworth has heart.
horse, of course. But keep that old horse before the car. First, you're... But basically, I have a globe right here. You guys can see it. It doesn't look very impressive. But what's really cool is when I move my head into the globe, you'll see that the artist created a digital snow globe where you can actually go in and check out this beautiful lighthouse that they designed. You catch up its um, tilt brush. So as I go out again, you'll see that they created this globe to kind of frame their picture. But then I can go in and actually see the clouds and see the actual birds. It's an amazing job. Very cool. Works. Now, this one is an amazing one. Uh, we're going to check this one out. We're going to watch this one be drawn in real time from this artist. Basically, Tilt Brush takes a look at how the artist went about painting the actual design. Look at this. Just really amazing. And look at the detail. Look at the eye. Look at the mouth. It's very cool. And I can even go into the fish. Now that is something that is truly unique inside of virtual reality. And this is actually the finished product. Very cool stuff. Let's check this one out. Again, the artist actually scaled up this building and drew the entire street. There's a crosswalk. And if we go to the final sketch, this is what it looks like. They created this entire building and cityscape. And I can actually look into the building and see what the artist designed. It is very cool. Hi everyone, behind me is a really special window on the world. It is located on the International Space Station, um, which is currently circling the world uh, repeatedly. And the, tomorrow is set to be the first manned American mission um, to the International Space Station. With SpaceX and NASA working in partnership, they're going to be sending the first American astronauts up in eight years. Um, from an American launch pad. So it's a really significant mission, and let's watch that. Less than 24 hours now until American astronauts once again lift off from U.S. soil on an American rocket headed for the space station. On board the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket, Doug Hurley and Bob Benkin, wearing new state-of-the-art spacesuits in a newly designed flat-screen-rich spaceship. I expect us to have a, a, a little bit of excitement going into the mission, but also tempered with a kind of an extreme focus on being able to execute the things that are in front of us. This is a big moment in time. It's been nine years since we've had this opportunity. Lift off. The since the space shuttle was retired in 2011, the U.S. has paid Russia to carry astronauts to the station. SpaceX, now the first private company to take over the job, as NASA refocuses on returning to the moon within four years. My son is, uh, is eight years old, and so he's never seen Americans launch from the United States ever. SpaceX founder Elon Musk tweeting this time lapse of the rocket sitting on pad 39A that also launched Apollo and space shuttle missions. At first, former NASA astronaut Mike Massimino did not think NASA should hand over such a challenging job to private companies. Now he's a believer. I was skeptical but I'm not any longer, and I wish him the best of luck, and we need him to be successful. While NASA has veto authority, this is a SpaceX mission run out of SpaceX mission control. Right now, the only potential threat, severe weather here in Florida. Although this is exciting contemporary news for everybody to watch, it goes way beyond. In your lifetime, Elon Musk wants to set up a Martian colony. Just something interesting. Uh, if you'd like to learn more, here's another video. Um, have a great day. I'm going to post some additional links today in the Parent Square email for anyone who wants to continue to learn.
kids it's Wayne here it's been a long time since I've done a workout for you guys and my daughter daughter Taylor been doing all the work for me so today she is she is busy so I'm gonna do the workout for her and so let's just make sure we have our waters and get warmed up let's get our all jog in place in I might be moving a little slower today because I'm at my gym and I've been doing some painting here. So I, uh, I'm feeling a little tired, but sometimes even when we feel a little tired, we just kind of, we just got to make it happen. So get our exercise in. Also today we're indoors, which I've been doing a lot of the indoor workouts. Um, I don't know, I like to be outside. It's raining out. So, and even tomorrow when you guys see this video, it's most likely gonna be raining again. All right, let's do forward arm rolls. All right, now let's go 10 backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, 10 over under, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And we're gonna go five neck rolls to the right, five neck rolls to the left. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. Now the other. One, two, three, four, and five. And then five forward to back. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Try to find a little space here. Okay, let's do 20 jumping jacks, okay kids? And let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. All right, if anybody needs to gra uh, grab some water, go ahead. I'm gonna run and grab mine. Okay, let's, uh, okay, let's do a uh, jump and shoot, okay? We got 15 of these, okay, kids? And one, and two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. We'll take a little breather and then next we're going to balance on one foot and balance on the other. We will start with our, I'm not wearing shoes. I'm inside. Sometimes I feel comfortable in my socks inside. We'll start with our left foot and we're gonna try to hold it for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now we're going to switch. 
and we're gonna go to the right foot. If you lose your balance, you lose your balance. Just get back up on that foot and hold it to the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now we're gonna do our double hop in, double hop out, double hop in, double hop out, okay? Let's go 10 inside, 10 outside, okay? One, two, 10 total, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Okay. Let's get on the mat or on the floor, on carpet. And let's do leg crunches. Okay, feet together, legs out, and bring them back in. If you have to, if you can't hold it there, you can drop it to the mat, and pick them up, and do one. But otherwise, if you can keep them up in the air, keep them up in the air the whole time. All right, let's do 10 of these. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay. Now, once we're down here, we're gonna go legs up, over, under, over, under. Let's see if we can get 10. Over once and then under, that counts as one. So when you do one right foot over the left and then the left foot over the right, that equals one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and Ten. Okay. Take one break. Grab some water. Okay, we're gonna do a thirty second plank, okay? <clears throat> If you can't hold it up the whole time and you drop to the ground, just start it up again and just hold it until we finish here with the 30 seconds, okay? I'm gonna do it with my palms down and begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, last exercise of the day. We're gonna do a set of push-ups, okay? like the old times there. If you want to keep your knees on the ground, you can keep your knees down. Otherwise, keep your body straight. Up in the air and then push down. Let's get 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right. I hope you guys had a great workout and I guess uh, we'll see you again next week, all right? Have a good weekend, guys. Bye-bye.
the card. First you got 